Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back with some cards. Um, really having fun, guys. This, these were fun. Um, loving coloring these images. I did these with my distress markers again. I'm sticking with them for a little bit. Um, and I just whipped these up. I got my surfer boy, my surfer kiddo, I should say, and had seen, and I don't look at Pinterest, I go to Google. I just go to Google and then I put in whatever I'm, look, so say I put surfer kiddo and then go to images. Like after all the stuff comes up, if you click on images, all these images will pop up. So if you've never seen the stamp, but you know the name of it, you'll see the picture of the stamp maybe or cards or whatever made with it, depending on what you put. But anyway, um, so this was similar. I saw the two of them on a card. It was different. It had um, like the ocean waves um, punch at the bottom. It was kind of, it was really cute, but I didn't have all the stuff. So I just used what I had. Um, I knew I wanted to use craft card stock. And this is just one of my recollections cards that I use for uh, mini albums. And um, just took what I had in my stash. This is some burlap ribbon um, and just some blue ribbon that I had that matched this card that I put in the background to mat my um, image with. And then these are my cloud punch and I just cut the bottoms off. And this is a stamp from um, You Are My Sunshine and that's what I used for the sentiment. You Are My Sunshine is a lawn fawn set. So I kind of just pieced it together using what I had. Um, I used distress stickles on the sand and it's really cool. Um, and just stickled it up and Dimensional Magic. So that was the first one I made. And then this one I kind of changed up a little too. I did the same thing with the sand and the pearls and the um, ribbon and all this, everything. Basically, I just put one of my flowers as the sun and put some stickles on it and then just used some of this lace. And this is that like $1.50 lace that I'm just loving. It's so sparkly, but it kind of gives the illusion of clouds in the sky, I think. And I just left the plane, plane inside. So they turned out so adorable and I'm hoping that I'll figure out how to package these and because they are popped up I'm not sure about the envelopes if they'll fit or whatever I'll have to figure it out but I would like to sell these I'll, I'll well, if people want to buy them I'll sell them but um, so that was my first two then I had shown this image I have this is um, Halloween magic another one of the Stampendous images, and I hadn't colored her or paint, done anything with her, and I wanted to do that, because I didn't make an ACC with her, because she's a little big. So I stamped and colored her with my Distress Markers, um, because Jill, she's Stampyra, had said she likes this image with her Distress Markers, too. And so I did, and what I did was this paper was scraps. I was going through my scraps um, and I have been for a while. I'm kind of trying to reorganize and getting any big scraps together, trying to make, use them for ATCs or just use them. Um, and this is, uh, is this, this is it. It's a recollection stack. I think it came out last year, Steampunk Botanica. And I love this paper stack. I made it a mini album and I used this for the cover. It's really pretty. It has clocks and gears and flowers and bugs. It's really pretty. But this was scraps. This whole, this actually is by, um, this is Tattered Time, I want to say. These gears, they were scraps. They were just in with it because I think I was probably doing something with steampunk. It was like in that pile of papers. I cut this gear out, like even the teeth and everything, and I like layered the pop-ups. Like I popped this one up that high, and then I popped this one up a little higher, and then I put her on, I popped her up, and I just think it turned out so cool. It's just because, which this is one of those, um, the same as the butterfly. Um, what is the brand of that? I never remember. Mementa. So I just put them on and some silver and some brads. Like, it's just cool. I fussy cut out this butterfly and put, like, little antenna at a wire. And then just some flowers. I'm so glad I found my little Prima flowers. I had red Prima flowers. These are, um, I don't know if they're called cherry blossoms by, and they're not I Am Roses. They're that other one. Wild Rookie Crafts. 
So, and then inside, this was just another scrap, and it just fit, and I think I'm just going to put a sentiment, because it says just because, I'll just, you know, maybe I'll leave it blank, and you can just, like, write a little note, but I just think that turned out so cool. I did that last night. It was so fun. I really enjoyed that. And then, again, I had, okay, so this one, I stamped her second. This was actually the first one I stamped and colored, but I, she kind of fell off the block. Doesn't that, don't you hate when that happens? So, like, it was a little blotchy, like, it wasn't the best stamp. So, I colored her first to just, like, practice and get, figure out my colors and stuff. And then, I wanted to use her after, so when I cut her out, I just used my white gel pen and went over, like, where there was any, like, black lines I didn't like. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. But I didn't like that I, like, I colored the clock with my, um, Sakura jelly roll pen. Like, I like how when you color it with the markers, it's better because it kind of looks highlighted and stuff. Anyway, I mean, but it was fine because this whole bag, this bag, it's a paper bag card, was scraps. Like, it wasn't scraps, but I found it in my scraps. I didn't have these yet, but the bag was covered with the paper. So that was, like, all done. This is where the, um, this is the bottom of the bag. You just fold it up and glue it, and it makes a pocket. And then this is the inside of the bag, if you don't, if no one's ever seen a paper bag card. It's literally a paper bag. And then you just, I think I'm going to, um, just you use this as, like, the front because it matches. But I'll put, like, a sentiment on the back of here. I think I'll just save it till I know what I want to use it for. Just leave it blank because this one doesn't have a sentiment at all. And then this is, like, a whole nother card. I mean, you don't have to even use this part. You could put a gift card in there, like a little gift card, maybe just, like, double-sided tape, a gift card in there, and or whatever, you know. You could put a little mini album in here, put pictures. I don't know. I just think it's super adorable. I fussy, same thing, same thing as the other one. Fussy cut this out, made the antennas, and just put a few flowers and some metal pieces on it. It's, the paper does the talking for you. It's so cool, this paper. So that was my second one. And then, this one, you know I've been into the easel cards lately, so this... I wanted to make an easel card, but again, I just used the, these are the Recollections card bases that we all buy for um, the Kathy Orta mini albums. So I have tons of these, well, not tons, but a, a good amount, and I thought, well, I'm just going to use the regular card bases, um, but I, I wanted to make an easel card in that size, which I hadn't done. I've been making like 5x5 five five and 6x6, six six, so I just turned it on its side. And you just fold it in half and and put it on. It's not hard. You just, you know. And there it is. My battery's blinking, of course, and I'm at eight minutes. But I had colored her with my Copics. Um, and so she was purple. And then I went and found the purple paper. So I, I went and found. This is actually a die cuts with a view stack. I forget the name of it. Something about love. Wicked Love or something, but I kind of got the layout idea from this part. That This is a paper from the stack, and it had a tarot card and, like, a piece of lace and a um, cameo and stuff. So that kind of gave me the idea for the layout, but then I felt like using some dye. So I have the Tim Holtz dye here, um, a, a couple of gears. I used some brads, and I, I don't know, the lace. I just, I love it. I think the colors on this one are super cool. So this is an easel card, and I just put, so I mean, I just think these things are super cute. And someone, you know, that's a really cool card. Like, no one's just going to get a card like that. Like, I don't know. Added some lace um, appliques to pull the lace in, and there you have it. So... I think that's it. My battery's blinking, so I think I'm going to sign off. I think I got everything in there. Um, I'm going to be doing more cards. I have um, my greeting form um, images I'm going to color. So that's it for now. Aren't they cool? <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.